Okay, this is M0 TWA, David. Um, I'm going to attempt to try and show you how to program from the controls on the radio, um, how to program simplex frequencies, if that be the case, or uh, as I'm about to do, a, um, a repeater, uh, repeater frequency, split frequency. So, uh, for changing the frequency you don't use the knob i keep going for that it's the volume control as it is at the moment that will just change the volume control wait for that to uh, move back and there we go you actually want the up and down keys on the uh, microphone that changes frequency the output for uh, gb3 um, ds in workshop is it's right there, isn't it? Four three three decimal three two five, right on cue. Thank you, uh, repeater. You did quite a good job there. So if we press function key briefly, and then press squelch, um, that will um, it will carousel between um, tone, CT, CTS, and DCS. Um, what you want is tone. So the the icon up in the the corner there, you see it. Oh, let me get a pen. Around about there. See there, it says T in the box. That's what you actually want it on. You don't want it on uh, CTS or DCS. Um, at least for UK. In your part of the world, it might be different. You might use other uh, forms of uh, tone into the box, but. Uh, in the case here in the UK, at least in my part of the UK, we're just using tone. So um, we press function key and then squelch. And then we roll that back to the tone that is required. In my case, 71.9. And it's on tone, not DCS or CTS. Uh, it's on tone. Um, you press function. Oh, I'm making a mess of this. It gets confusing, I assure you. If you press long press on the function key, um, then it brings up other options. Now, band, if you then go and back to select that, you can either go wide or narrow. We're just going to leave it on narrow for us because that's what we want into this repeater. Um, then if we press again, long press... And then you go back through the um, options. Oops, so there is it. We're getting a little bit out of focus. Uh, shift. So uh, off, up plus or minus, depending which way you are shifting up and down the band. In my case, it's going to be plus. In your region of the world, it might be different. It's gone back to uh, uh, VFO. If you press long press again. And then it takes us back to option one and band busy TX reverse talk shift offset pressing on the on the knob there and it's we're actually there where we are. You can actually change this, but we're on 1.600 shift up the bands to the input frequency. Now when you're there if you've, got, if you've done it all right, um, if you've done it correctly, we should be able to open up the um, repeater. M0TWA, check and access. And there it is. No problem at all, straight in there. So if we press a short press on the function key, a short press, and then then select the um, memory channel where you want to put it. So I'm up to, uh, by memory, I remember I'm on channel 20. Um, 21 is the free one, and you press VM, memory. And then that puts it into um, memory. It's actually memorized it. So um, if you go... Uh, press that, that takes you back to, oops, are these? Just let that go back. So that, that should be memorised now into the uh, 
Channel 21 in the memory bank. Yeah. Um, if you one press, takes you back to VFO mode. Um, if you wanted to do a simplex frequency, all you would do is take out the um, the shift plus or minus, and also the frequency, how far up or down the band that you move up or down frequency. If you take them out, you can leave the tone in because it's suborbital. Oh, I can't even say the word suborbital any. Audible anyway, some audible. Been drinking, it's terrible. Um, then you can program into uh, memory channels, simplex frequencies, call in frequencies, favorite channels, etc. So there we go. I hope that helps. I'm not very good at reviews, but you know, it might help somebody in programming this radio from the um, controls here on the uh, on the front of the radio without using the programming cable. M0 TWA David in Workshop. Cheers for now.